Hello world ones, I'm out today in Storm Anthony, which apparently is the most severe storm of the year and has a risk of loss of life. Oh no! Dropped a crest! So I'm wearing my lovely lightweight tarp poncho today. I'm not sure what I wanted to do with it. I think I might try and make a little plow point from this tree and see how much of it I can do while I'm still wearing it. Because the thing is with the tarp poncho, you're not gonna be carrying waterproofs as well because it's like multi-purpose and it kind of defeat the object. So gotta try and get it up without getting wet. But I'll get my sleep system up first because that's gonna be in a lovely bibby bag. Oh my goodness, it does feel a bit life-threatening. Let's get the sleep system up. So I've got my Thermarest x Lite today. I usually bring a big bivy bag to go over the top of my entire sleep system, but I'm doing it a bit different today. Today I've bought my regular hunker bivy bag. So just my sleeping bag is gonna go in this. Reason being is that it's quite hard to sort of sit up, move around or do anything when you've got your sleeping mat in the bivy bag as well, although it does keep everything nice and enclosed and lovely and dry and snug. So I wanna keep me sleeping bag nice and dry. So I'm just gonna pull that straight out. Perfect. So that's my sleeping bag in the bivy bag, all floofed up. Here's my pillow, stick that in there. Yeah, I mean, it does feel weird letting the mat get wet. I'll see what happens. So in putting my little sleep system up first, I've managed to keep myself entirely dry under my poncho. So I've been having a little think about what I want to do with this poncho. <laughs> and I was thinking a plow point from this tree, but I'm concerned if the weather does really get up later, that's going to act like a sail. So what I might do is a lean to using my trekking poles, and then I can have the trekking poles on this side quite high so I've got room to sit under and if the weather comes in I can lower it right down and that shouldn't get caught by the wind and it should keep the rain off me. So I wonder if I can start by pegging myself in while I'm inside the poncho. <laughs> One there and oh. I can't reach. No, it's not possible. I can't do it. I'm going to have to put my head out. But I can still stay under the top. Ooh, I want to peg it in. Okay. That's the two back corners pegged in. And I'm still dry under my little poncho. Got to do the front corners now. How high do I want these? Oh, I'm gonna have to get out to put these guy lines on, aren't I? So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it entirely from under here. Just jump out really quick. Sort this one out. Okay. I did not manage to put this up without coming out from under the poncho tarp, which is not a big deal today because this is just really light rain and it's warm. But if you were using this in a torrential downpour and it was cold and you really had to try not to get wet, I just don't see how it would be possible. Anyway, I'm just uh, doing up the hood, this doodah here with a hair tie so that no water comes in through there. Lovely doodah. So this is okay for now, I think. I like it. What's also quite cool, I suppose, is that if you get bored, you can use this as like a little peephole. Or you can even do your Ace Ventura bit. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I mean, what else could you want in a hole to stick your head through? <laughs> I'm going in, bye. Thank you, hole. <laughs> it looks so suspicious, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, nice. And this is kind of why I didn't want my mat inside the bivy bag today because these are so rigid. 
that when they're inside the bivy bag, you can't sit comfortably or sit cross-legged or do anything like that. You're sort of just stuck like this. And I don't want to be like that all night. It might be a long night. So now I can slide around like a slug. It's lovely, really comfy, and my bag is protected. I do feel a bit like I'm exposing my mat too much because I've never done this before. It's getting muddy already, but I have got my light AF mat underneath it to try and protect it a little bit from sticks and whatnot. And I've got my ground sheet. That's a magic carpet from DD underneath as well. So I think it'll be okay. Just look, not used to this mucky, a mucky mat. I love it under here, it's so cozy. But I think I'm definitely gonna lower my trekking poles tonight to go to sleep, to give me a bit more coverage because there is some rain coming in at the side here. And it's gone eight o'clock now, so I'm gonna make me some dinner. I'll get warm and cozy. And I might use this doodah here, try and tie it off to that tree behind. pretty nice and that gives me loads more room underneath there so that's quite cool you can already see actually the side of my booby bag it's all dry now it's all wet before it's dried off so it's lower in the top down so that's good My little doodah up there is leaking, so it's not waterproof in the seams. Seems like nothing's waterproof these days. So yeah, that'll need seam sealing around the doodah area. Look at the size of this beast. He's enormous and chonky. I'm gonna go to bed now, guys, so I'll see you in the morning. Bye. guys it is a gorgeous morning this morning and it looks like we survived storm anthony brutal as it was uh it's pretty chilly though for early august it's been about eight nine degrees through the night so i'm glad i bought my autumn sleeping bag for this and it's been really nice to get some rain on the old poncho tarp which did really well apart from the doodah here which has let some water through so that will need seam sealing, but overall it did a good job of keeping the rain off me and had a really nice night. I'm still unsure how you would set this up in heavy rain without getting drenched, so that remains a mystery. I've enjoyed having my mat on the outside as well, so I can sit like this and be all comfy and move around. It doesn't seem to have taken any damage from not being inside the bivy bag apart from getting a bit grubby and gaining some character, so that's fine. I'm not sure if that would be detrimental heat-wise in winter though. But yeah, I've had a really, really lovely night out. Thank you for sharing this with me, you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.